The main purpose of dietary supplements is actually to treat deficiencies of vitamins, minerals, um, or to prevent such deficiencies. Now, if you have a well-balanced diet, there may not be any benefits from taking uh, dietary supplements. However, for people who are concerned that they may not have an adequate diet, it's very reasonable to take a multivitamin or to take relatively low doses of uh, different nutrients that are our concern for you. Um, but we do recommend against mega dose supplementation, very high dose supplementation of any um, vitamin or mineral or other nutrient because of concerns about risks. Uh, there are many randomized clinical trials at this time that have tested, for example, high doses of beta carotene, vitamin C, vitamin E, um, the B vitamins, selenium, and they have not found a reduced risk of cardiovascular disease and cancer. And in fact, some risks have been identified, such as an increased risk of lung cancer with uh, beta carotene, high dose beta carotene among um, individuals who smoke. One group that will benefit is women of reproductive age and during pregnancy. Folic acid is extremely important in preventing neural tube defects and other uh, birth defects. And so that, it, that is a group that should be encouraged to take a supplement of, of folic acid. Also, calcium and vitamin D supplementation may be helpful for bone health, especially in older individuals who are at higher risk of osteoporosis and osteoporotic fracture. And people who have lactose intolerance and tend to get a very low intake of calcium or vitamin D fortified of foods, they may uh, really benefit from taking calcium and uh, vitamin D supplement. There are also some um, individuals, especially older people who may have deficiencies of vitamin B12 and could benefit from supplementation. But it's important to talk about uh, these issues with your healthcare provider and to see if you may be a candidate for uh, taking a supplement. There are a couple indicators you can look at on the label of supplements that will um, indicate whether the, the supplement has a high level of quality control. One is looking for GMP, which stands for Good Manufacturing Practices, and the other is USP, which stands for U.S. Pharmacopeial uh, Convention. And that will indicate that the product has been certified in some way in terms of quality control, that it has gone through a certain audit in terms of uh, the good manufacturing uh, practices, that it's been tested for um, contents and for uh, quality control. 